Hello there, my name is Tim Walter. I'm a house healer and an alternative life coach. Welcome to the channel. This is where we work with the subtle energies of intuition to help us all move towards improved well-being. We do that by working with meditation, mindfulness and dowsing. Dowsing is a great way to give a structured framework to your intuition. Today's video is an edited section from one of our regular live Q&As in which I talk about how to get started with dowsing rods. But first, as all our dowsing is aimed at creating well-being, I emphasise the importance of our subjective perception of the world around us. So we're going to touch on some of the basics again, go back to first stage as it were. Uh, hopefully that's going to help some of you. The basic principle of dowsing, it is a subconscious process. Now, when I say it's a subconscious process, that doesn't mean that we're excluding spirit or spirit energy or all of that intuitive stuff. It just simply means that all of that stuff is down one end of the scale. And then we kind of come through from all that subtle realm stuff at that end of the scale. We come through into our subconscious that we're kind of aware of. Oh, OK, so that we know that this exists. And then we come through at this end of the scale towards the conscious mind. And as we move further up the scale in the conscious mind, a way of processing stuff in our reality, we get into the very logical thinking. And this is where we get the scientific viewpoint of life. There is a balance here in this scale between incredibly intuitive ways of processing information that we get and very logical, analytical processing objective i mean this up here this end of the scale we're dealing with completely objective information that's what up this end of the scale we come wandering down here and and we go through back through our subconscious and back through this sort of intuitive aspect and when we get down this end of the scale we're into our absolutely personal individual unique subjective experience of being alive being conscious in all of those facets of what that actually means. One of the things that we learn, the more we douse and the more you get really heavily into dousing and working with this intuitive aspect of, of, of self, of energy, is that actually the questions of what is objective are open to debate because <laughs> even the seemingly objective is processed through the inner world, through the subject of experience. Your own unique attachment through so to source, to the management, to all the information that can be accessed through from source, from that source loving energy that some of us will call God, some of us will call the universe, some of us will call, I don't know, something else. I want you to think that there's a part of you, just a, a nebulous part of you, that has information. Now, we're going to call it the higher self. And in spiritual circles, it's, it's frequently referred to as the higher self. It's that part of us that seems to remain upstairs. That's your connection that allows the information to come through to you. It's that connection that continues through the lives that we lead. Our uniqueness continues as we step through to the next world. We never lose that unique being. One of the, the hardest things for dowsers and beginner dowsers in particular is uh, to allow information to come through. It's not uncommon to be uh, reluctant to um, kind of open the, open the door, if you like, to, a, to your spiritual self. And that's really what you're doing. Basically, dowsing is the is the safest way of accessing any of this information of this subtle realms of energies. Right. Two things to be to be aware of. Uh, one, there is actually a psychic protection exercise on on my channel, um, which is all about using the chakras and, and putting in place protection. Now, I would recommend that everybody before they douse does that little chakra protection exercise, not necessarily because dowsing is uh, dangerous or opens you up to detrimental energies but because it's a good habit to get into for you know so that in six months time if you're wandering through a sacred site then you don't get kiboshed by something that's unpleasant the other thing to say about all this detrimental stuff that's out there uh, is that there's not much of it out there and it's not predatory 
each individual person is affected by detrimental energies that are detrimental to them on their frequency so it's not like you know you can have different people living in one house and there's only one person that is affected by the subtle energies of that house being detrimental to them and this is where it it correlates to what we were talking about earlier on about the individual inner universe because this stuff is so subtle it's in this individual subjective experience when you pick up the rods as a complete beginner you expect that you're asking the rods i'm using my fingers i've got rods here right you think that what you've got to focus on is the rods and it's not so you don't expect anything to happen with what you're holding in your hand the easiest question to start with is something like am i standing up stand up and you just ask a question that you know the answer to because it's great to get an initial response now when you first dance you you won't get your rods responding necessarily as quickly as that right they may just kind of one of them may just do that just gently move across like that and if that does that if that's what happens that's fine it's good to think of dowsing as a two-part process because you ask a question and part two is you get a response there's no good just walking around the house for example and and waiting for them to cross because if you walk around your house or your flat or your apartment they will periodically just cross but if you haven't asked a question you don't know why they're crossing in all of this work you do want to be doing all of it for the greatest good for the highest of the high always setting your intention for the best possible outcome for the greatest good if we can understand that we are beings that continue from one life to the next then it changes our perception of of our problems of our issues of our circumstance of being human